my channel if you're new here hi my name is diamante welcome to week 20 of my wigobi journey and i guess that means it's officially five months right like that is insane if you are new here stop right here hi how are you i highly encourage you to go and watch the other videos in my wigobi series and then you can come back and watch this one once you've caught up in chronological order i'll go ahead and i'll link the first one of the series up here so that way you guys can go and watch it but yeah i seriously can't believe it five months that's literally almost half a year like it's insane how much can change in five months but anyway let's go ahead and cue my measurements for the week all right don't mind my turvy twist i just got out of the shower because while i was in the shower i realized that i forgot to do my measurements before i hopped in the shower so anyway let's go ahead and do this so for bus this week we're looking at 39 and a half for waist. We're looking at 36. And then for hips, we are looking at it's a little less than 48. And wow, I can't believe it. This is week 20, so I guess that means five months, right? Anyway, cannot wait for the weigh-in. So let's go ahead and cue that. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and do my weigh-in. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. So top stats for the week. So we're looking at 206.6 as my weight. My BMI is at minus 4.6 and then my body fat is minus seven. So the trends for the week. So for my weight, we're at 206.6. For my BMI, we're at 35.7. For my body fat, we're at 44.2. For my body water, we're still at 38.3. For my skeletal muscle, we're at 32.5. For my BMR, we're at 14.99. For my fat-free body weight, we're still at 115.4. For my subcutaneous fat, we're still at 38.1. For my visceral fat, we've gone back up to 18. For my muscle mass, we're still at 108.4. For my bone mass, we're still at seven. For my protein, we're still at 12. And then my metabolic age continues to be 35. So as of right now, there are some changes. They're very minor, but most things I feel like have stayed the same. This is the first time that I've like pretty much maintained weight in a, quite a few weeks actually. So I'm not like too concerned about it. I think you guys heard me mention it in my last week video but last week was kind of hard for me because as you guys know i did recently get promoted and with that promotion i got to hire somebody under me so because of that like i've been training somebody new so my bandwidth has been not the best so it's been like kind of tiring on me mentally to like go and like try to cook afterwards and stuff like that but like i've at least still been you know like hitting the gym getting my movement in but yeah so i feel like my nutrition definitely could have been better i do feel like my nutrition this week is also going to be a little bit hairy because i don't know if i mentioned it already but i am going to arizona to go see genesis i'm super excited to go see her it's been like maybe two years since i've seen her so it's very exciting because she is having a baby so that's the reason why i'm going is because it's her baby shower and so it's so fun like getting to see like your closest best friends like going into like new phases of life like this and i just know that she's gonna be such an awesome mom and obviously shaquille is gonna be such an awesome dad too but i'm really excited it'll be my first time in arizona it's a very short trip like i'm literally only going from thursday until sunday yeah so i'm just gonna give myself grace this week especially because arizona is gonna be very hot i do want to like try to see if i can like try to get like either a small hike in or at least like go and like somewhat see nature but i'm gonna bring you guys obviously along for what that week looks like because it will be a short week for me like at work but yeah so i'm really looking forward to it and i can't believe it's finally five months since like 
I've been on the medication. If you would have asked me like way before I started the medication if I thought I'd still be here, I honestly was like, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to be on this long term. Like I was really doubting myself. So I'm happy that I've been able to like stick with it. I'm happy that I've been able to stick with having you guys follow along on the journey. Like so many of you guys, my first few months, cause I was like, oh, I don't know if I wanna do like every week. So many of you guys were like, oh, like please like share your journey, like keep sharing it weekly. And so I appreciate you guys so, so much for continuing to follow me along for the journey and sharing your experiences with me as well. Like that has been so fun and honestly like, Having you guys be my accountability buddies every week keeps me so motivated. So I really appreciate you guys for always coming back and tuning in because like it really means so much to me that you guys like have cared to follow along on my journey so far. And so thank you guys so much for that. My goal hopefully by the time I reach the beginning of month six is to hopefully like be in wonderland already like that would be so much fun if i was able to like hit month six and be like i'm officially back in wonderland like that would be so cool like i would really love that but you know you guys know i'm not in a rush for anything like at the end of the day like slow and sustainable weight loss is the way to go for me i definitely have been feeling so much better even now when i go to the chiropractor it's been a little bit less painful oh my gosh guys uh if you guys saw last week's video did you guys see me get acupuncture specific specifically cosmetic acupuncture like that's insane let me also just say like shout out to elisa at discovery chiropractic who is my friend like i still cannot like move my eyebrows it's so hard but anyway i can't recommend that enough seriously after she did that acupuncture session for me like i slept so good that day so yeah like even though i do feel like tired pretty often as most autoimmune girlies do i definitely just feel i don't know like a new zest for life and it's just crazy to think how much has like happened over the past five months and i just feel like such a different person and i don't know i just feel like this medication has brought so much like and breathed so much new life into me and so yeah i'm just so grateful to be here and to be able to have access to the medication and all the tools that i've been using to get to this point but yeah i can't wait to see like at my half year mark like how much of a difference the medication has made because I was so scared at the beginning of this journey so I don't know I've just been feeling emotional because five months to me seems really substantial but anyway I am looking forward to seeing what this week brings even if there's no weight loss this week like I don't know there's no pressure I honestly feel like I did not plan on having such a full summer but I am so grateful because I've been working hard, I've been playing hard, and so that's kind of what life is all about. Like your 20s are to be busy and like frantic and all these things. And so I really feel like I've been enjoying that this summer. And just, I'm so grateful that I've been able to see all my friends. Like that has been so nice. Like the fact that I don't live like near most of my friends is so hard but like it's so nice because when we do see each other in person it's all very intentional time and i'm just happy that like i have the time to go see them but yeah so i've just been i don't know feeling so grateful this week about so many different things but anyway like i said so excited for week 20 so let's go ahead and cue my injection for the week hey. Ready? Yeah. Week, Week 20. 20. Hello guys. Happy Monday. It has been so busy. Like, I literally can't. Anyway, for lunch, I'm doing a little salad, and then I also have a small piece of a chicken tender left, and that's gonna be my lunch before I go to Pilates. And yeah, Pilates on a Monday, hate it, but I have to do it. I'm going after work, so that should be fun. It's been super busy, super stressful, so I think it'll be good for me.
Guys, happy full moon in Aquarius. Look at how crazy it looks. Happy Tuesday. I'm discovering new parts of my body that can hurt. So anyway, today is a very busy day. It's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just not the thing I would prefer for me. But yeah, so Pilates yesterday was intense. And the instructor that I had, she was so like hands on, which is not a bad thing. I just felt personally attacked because I used to go to Pilates pretty regularly and I've been out of practice for a little bit and now I'm back. And she was like, literally like making sure I was properly formed for the plank she was like zip up your belly like literally like reached under to like make me like <gasps> like as i was doing the planks and i was like okay <laughs> like this is what it is so today is going to be a cereal day i'm just like exhausted yeah work is really busy i'm also in the midst of like editing the video for this week, which you guys will see at this point, it's week 19. I also need to pack for Arizona, which I haven't done yet. It's literally such a quick trip, but I don't know why I haven't done it yet. This is your reminder to take your supplements. It's Wednesday, my dudes. I, it's so early right now. It's like seven in the morning. I'm going to get my lashes done before the workday starts because I don't have any other time to do it. And I'm leaving Arizona tomorrow. So I wanted to make sure my lashes look good. I wanted to show you guys my nails. Like, I really killed it. The color is so good. I'm obsessed with it. But anyway, this is my final hurrah to summer. And who would have thought that I would have found my perfect match for a nude shade. When we picked this shade, we thought it was going to be like a darker brown. And then this is the brown that it wound up being. <laughs> Literally my skin tone, so... Did I play myself and wait until the last minute to pack again? Yes. Yes, I did. Anyway, Miss Shay Mitchell has gotten my money again. Let's open up this suitcase because now this is my second suitcase. I also have the East to West tote and I also just got the packing cubes. So anyway, She's gone after my wallet again. We've all got baggage. Glad it's base. Look at her in all her glory. This is the carry-on roller in Atlas Pink. Obviously, all my other base things are Atlas Pink, so I'm obsessed with it. So here on the handle, is the weight indicator and if it turns red that means it's over 50 pounds but in the meantime you know it's cool i also love this tsa lock and these are honestly the best wheels i have had a lot of luggage in my lifetime and these are the best ones Got the berry trio from Starbucks. It's pretty protein heavy, which is good. 
and I think that this would be a good breakfast. And I got it on like my rewards, so it was free, which is really good. Only 240 calories, but yeah, I think that this is gonna be a good breakfast for me. Made it to the airport in the nick of time and pray for me because I'm gonna go on Southwest and I'm really manifesting that I get a window seat but also, it's a Boeing 737. <laughs> so pray for me. But yeah, I'm here just waiting to get on my flight. We're going to St. Louis first and then my flight to Phoenix. Okay. So, we have landed in St. Louis, Missouri, and because my flight from Orlando to Missouri was late due to thunderstorms, I missed my flight to Phoenix. And so, now this means I'm stuck in the airport, at this airport, for like an extra two hours. I would be remiss if I hey, didn't. Hey, this is on concourse. This is on concourse. If you miss your watch, come back to pre-check. You left your watch at pre-check. Once again, if you are missing your watch and you can't do pre-check, come back. We have your watch at pre-check. I would be remiss if I didn't say that I'm not frustrated because I am frustrated because I was only planning on having my yogurt and then landing in Arizona and like getting something to eat. And now I have to eat again because I'm hungry and I'm not going to not eat so anyway in true new yorker fashion we've got a hot dog from Shakespeare. attention to the terminal attention to the terminal looking for the following passenger going out on flight 1915 to Bewey, baltimore emily belnoski jared ardman catherine o'lair michael penders if you're in gate or excuse me if you're in the terminal please make your way to gate e18 as we are fully loaded and looking for on time departure thank you Hopefully I don't get interrupted again. We've got classic hot dog, or as we like to say in New York, a glizzy. And I've got the cheese and bacon fries, but those are a little bit messier, so I'm not gonna show those. But yeah, I've gotta listen to my body. I've gotta eat. And in the same token of all these things, when things don't turn out the way that you plan, just remember, you are exactly where you need to be. So it happens to be that I'm exactly where I need to be in the Twin Cities. It's 8.55 in the morning. My body does not know what time it is because I obviously traveled through like all these different time zones and obviously i was traveling for such a long time but anyway we have breakfast so i have some honey bunches of oats and then i also have like some grapes and then i'll bring you guys along for my plans today which is like nothing crazy i'm gonna just try to like get some good pictures with a cactus get a little bit of a walk-in it's not gonna be a substantial walk because it's like 100 degrees outside, so. All right, so we gotta protect ourselves from the sun today. So I'm just using a little bit of the hyaluronic acid sunscreen that I've been liking. And then I'll probably take another shower today so I can do like more skincare because I'm also like breaking out, which like sometimes happens to me when I travel. Yeah, because this sun over here is no joke, so better be prepared. This is just the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Dry Touch. SPF 70 might be a little bit dramatic, but maybe it's not because my skin is so sensitive. The things we do for pictures on the gram.
before I go. I have the VA Energy in Black Cherries. Shout out to Shaquille for one of these. They're pretty good. It's got one combined serving of veggies and fruit in here and it's got a lot of caffeine in it. It's with uh, black and green tea so it's a little bit better for you. We have made it to the promised land, my favorite place. Good morning guys, happy Saturday. So we are getting ready for G's baby shower and I don't know if I said that yet, but now I'm allowed to talk about it because I wanted to make sure that I was respecting her boundaries during her pregnancy. So anyway, we've been setting up for her baby shower because it's here at her house. And so I just wanted to show you guys the things that I got for her and we can go from there. Okay, so the first clothing item that I got her was you guys are gonna die because I obviously love Halloween and so the baby will be here by then but look how cute it is and like look at the pants I'm obsessed I can't believe that people are this small it's really crazy to think about okay the second item that I got her is this little set because since she lives in Arizona like it'll still be hot here in October and so I had called her to make sure like the baby can still wear shorts so look how cute I am dying look at the shorts the shorts are like a linen so these will be really good for the baby and then I got her these because I don't think babies wear like shoes when they're born but I think they wear socks so I got her the socks. So these are them. And then I got her these like little washcloths for the baby. They're the Cloud Island brand, so they're really nice. And then in lieu of getting her a card, I obviously got her a book, which I don't know if anybody else is doing, but like anytime I've been to a baby shower, it's what I always do. So I just got her Goodnight Moon and then I wrote my well wishes on the inside because obviously Goodnight Moon is a classic. So anyway, that's the reason why I got her this, but I do have to wrap this up and then get ready. But I just wanted to show you guys the haul. This is the gift. All right guys, so it obviously is the next day, or I guess like the next two days because I have been traveling back from Arizona to come back home. So obviously I apologize in advance if this vlog is not as long as the way it normally is if the eats are not as clean. Obviously, I have had a very stressful week and I was not like expecting to achieve any weight loss or anything. So coming into this new week, like I don't know what that will look like, but like I just wanna let you guys know that that like wasn't my priority. My priority was just making sure that I could be present because it had been, I think like close to two years since I've seen Jen and Shaq. And so I obviously like wanted to make sure that I got to spend time with them because like this will be the final time that we get to spend together 
before they have the baby and so it's obviously like really important like our friendship as we know it is going to change because obviously their priorities are going to change now that they're going to be parents so it's obviously like such a big deal and i'm so happy because you know they are some of our like closest most best friends and being able to see the life that they've built together like out in arizona is really so special and i feel so privileged that i was able to go and like visit them and spend a little bit of time with them but yeah i had so much fun in arizona i can't wait to go back like when the weather is substantially nicer than what it is right now and like obviously go on like a real hike since i lost my lens hood getting that cactus picture if you guys don't follow me on instagram already please follow me on instagram and show me some love on that picture because i literally lost my lens hood getting that picture so i can't wait to see what week 21 brings this should be a very exciting week i'm getting back into the swing of things and you know back to regularly scheduled programming like i will say the month of september is already like filling up so i don't know if i should be excited or nervous about that but all to say that i don't think that I'm gonna be able to rest until Christmas, if that. I also did want to talk to you guys because I don't know if you guys realize, but we officially hit a thousand subscribers on this channel. So literally, thank you guys so much for everybody that has like watched my videos, commented, like those of you that have like followed me on other social media platforms, like seriously i never would have expected to get here and i feel like i say that like every time i hit like a new subscriber milestone but truly like this journey has been so special because i've been able to do it with like such a large community of people that are rooting for me and like i'm just a girl from queens guys like i never ever like thought that i would be sharing something like weight loss and that people would be so interested and so invested in my success and like i really appreciate you guys because like i feel like i say this every week but you guys really do keep me motivated i feel like if it wasn't for the fact that i was publicly documenting this maybe i would have given up a really long time ago so i appreciate you guys for being accountability buddies with me because like truly it has made me feel not alone in the journey and I can't wait to see what the next like big number brings which I think will probably be like 10,000 as you guys know when I reached a thousand subscribers the plan was to go to be our guest and so I think that will happen it just won't happen anytime soon because we do have plans to go to Mickey's not so scary Halloween party and obviously like those are ticketed events so Lou actually surprised us with those tickets last week and I will do like a full Disney vlog on that so that way like all my Disney lovers because I know there's like a few of you guys can like just have a video that's dedicated to that like day but yeah I'm super super excited guys like I seriously like can't wait for that because obviously if you guys don't know like I love Halloween and so like there's just some fun stuff planned for the month of September and I can't believe like summer's over but there's been so many like good and positive things that have come out of this season of my life and I'm just really grateful because I just feel like having you guys like witness it and like be part of it is just really special so yeah like i said like thank you guys so much as always for your love and support i really really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart and like i'm not gonna get emotional about it but you guys will see your reels for it at some point like me celebrating my thousand subscribers even though i'm a little bit late i hit the thousand like literally the day that i flew in from Orlando to Arizona but I was like so jet lagged and I'm still kind of jet lagged and my body does not know what time it is so like I need my circadian rhythm to like do its thing and like regulate itself again but seriously thank you guys so much and yeah like I said I can't wait to see what week 21 brings and if I haven't said it already please make sure you guys like comment and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one 
Okay, bye.